It is the holiday season and one of the things that we have loved doing um, last year and this year too is finding a few beautiful menorahs if you are celebrating Hanukkah. But this is something that we found this year and it's the first time that we have been able to offer this and I'm going to have David pronounce it because he will do it correctly. David. It's called the mezuzah. <laughs> the mezuzah. And it's okay. what goes over the, the doorway um, in a Jewish household. You would, you would have one over every doorway in, in your home. Mm -hmm. And as you walk through the doorway, it's just a symbolic reminder that you are Jewish and your Jewish faith is important to you. There's usually a parchment inside. There is mm -hmm. a parchment inside. Um, and it's usually some type of prayer. I don't think it's the standard prayer. I think it could be anything that's meaningful to, to you. Um, okay. And you put that in here and then it would be there um, and you'd walk through the door. And I think it would be, it's just a nice special reminder of your mm -hmm. faith. But this particular mezuzah, it's I think beautiful. is just, when I saw this, I was like, I mean, this separates mezuzahs from mezuzahs because this is something that is a piece of art. I mean, this is something to have over your doorway. It's just so special. It's not beautiful. And you don't need it over every door in your house. Most people just have it in the front when you walk mm -hmm. in the front door. Mm -hmm. And that's all you need if you want one. You could have more than one if you want. But um, to me, this is just outstanding with the ornate details. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. So this is the front. And obviously, there's space in the back for you to put, you know, a, yeah. a piece of paper, yeah. a parchment with the, a parchment a prayer. With the prayer. Yep. Um, and again, that can be whatever prayer is important to you. And one of the things I like about that is that it can be a prayer where you can add the names of people who are important yeah. to you, you know, in that prayer and on that parchment, which I think can make it very personal and very special. And maybe that's something that you want to redo every every time you celebrate Hanukkah yeah. each year Absolutely. is to think about who are the, the really special people that you want to, um, you know, keep in your in your life and in your prayers and and add their names as part of the parchment but i do think it's one of the most beautiful things i've ever seen and some people will say there's only one prayer you should have in there because if you're very religious maybe mm, there's a certain okay. prayer but for me i'm reformed and we're going to put anything inside that's meaningful oh, to us like try to be careful with that like you don't feel like you have to just depending on how religious your faith is mm -hmm. just have something in there that's meaningful to you in my opinion that's how it should work for me excellent good to know thank you so yeah. much so this is a mezuzah. It is the first time that we've ever, ever been able to offer one, but I love being able to offer a few very special, beautiful things for everyone who is celebrating Hanukkah. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Hanukkah.